Hey everybody, uh, we're here today to talk about the new screenplane rig called the SteadyFlex. Uh, it's finally uh, available for purchase and rental here in uh, LA. And the reason I'm so excited about it is it's probably the most compact rig I've ever uh, had the chance to test. Um, the I.O. moves opposite of each other, and it's really exciting for Steadicam. It has a built-in uh, Cayman, which you're going to see right now. Um, so inside of that spar there is an actual C-Motion uh, Cayman 8 motor. Um, so you have a couple power outs, a couple power ins, and then uh, focus iris zoom for both lenses built in. So that cleans up cabling a lot and uh, really cuts down on weight as well. Um, and uh, it just it just is a really clean setup and it's built very well. Now uh, in most exciting thing for me really is that you know you could put epics on it you could put scarlets on it and as you can see here it's the first rig I've ever put uh, 3d rig I've ever put on a steady cam that I've been able to dynamic balance as you know, I'm not touching the rig it's just free spinning right now um, so that's a big deal uh, the reason why that happened is that you can yeah you know, this is the first rig I was able to overslung meaning the, the camera pointing up instead of down so I can get the post right underneath the CG um, so what that does is uh, I don't need any back weight and uh, you can get a much better balance that way. No, I really, I mean, it's so, a really clever concept. you know, yeah. here's my first impressions of it. Um, Kurt had a, little, had a chance to look at it a little longer and he likes it a lot as well. The thing though is, uh, he may have to... This is very manageable. I mean, weight-wise. Yeah, and then you can do that. Can you go up during the low mode in that? Yeah. So it's important to point so out that the camera is fully built Sorry. now. Uh, cabled up yeah. and powered up. Got my decimator. So, I mean, the, the total rig weight was uh, 52 pounds, which is just astounding. I and mean, it's the, by far the lightest, lightest rig I've ever flown. Uh, you can see there, um, it's very maneuverable and I'm throwing it around with an ease that, you know, I haven't had on a 3D rig since I've flown a 2D camera. I mean, this, this makes 3D Steadicam, a, you know, a lot more realistic. You know, now they don't have a camera hanging down. It's a really big it is advantage. Very, um, freeing to have to be able to have my forearm right here. Because mm -hmm. what's happening right now is I can keep the rig closer to my body. Because normally I have stuff sticking mm -hmm. out of here, so then I have to keep it over here, which tires me out much faster. So I can have it right here. And there's a lot of things about the design that enables it to be overslung, meaning the top the camera's on top. So there's no cameras hanging down to block your gimbal, so I can spin it 360. See, and I can just switch overs. I mean, this simple move, like if I'm coming around him, mm -hmm. and I want to you know, switch over and walk back, you can't do with other rigs. Yeah, you gotta like go all the you way. You can't up. do it because there's so because long. there's stuff right here. So when I switch over, I have to push it out. Yeah, you know, and then it's like you're dying when that happens. No, it's it's pretty compact. It's very compact, <laughs> and uh, I mean, the weight's great. There's a lot about how the rig's designed that. Uh, Really lets you oversee it. Actually, can, like, I don't I, feel like I, getting I, out I of like balance. I calibrate this stuff here. Yeah. You know, I have to but uh, so we're actually moving the I.O. there, which means the cameras are moving opposite of each other and thereby maintaining balance on the rig, which is great. I'm actually spinning the rig with my hand there. Um, the little cannon actually has a pretty good stabilizer. You can, you, yeah. can get, you can get a pretty good fake steady cam shot, <laughs> shot out of it. So this is this is moving like from right. all in. 
We don't want to. Like if I'm Sounds great. backing up. So I'm just getting a feel there for what it feels like you know, to, it's, it's, to have the I.O. move. If you're moving in, we would probably go in with the inner axle and then... It's good. So, I mean, my first impressions were, were great. I mean, it's by far the best 3D Steadicam rig in the market. And uh, cinema quality, obviously. And we also, um, we're going to replace a, a few parts, so it's going to be and, um, uh, less noisy on the These are I LDS mean, Ultra I mean, Primes, <laughs> so they're a little heavier even. <laughs> Look at that. But the fact that you can spin the it fact around. That you can do that. Yeah, that's pretty impressive right there. But yeah, get some dynamic balance, and you can you can definitely get this thing balanced. I know you can. Yeah, we had and this. Yeah. You're able to do this. Yeah, have it close to your body. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. Cool. We'll start loose. Civilized weight. Yeah. Even in flip flops, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's how I practice. Maybe, maybe That's how I practice. That's how you practice. <laughs> exactly. Huh? Cool. That's really nice. Yeah. So here we're moving the I.O. on the balance post. And you can see here a little bit of lean. So this is because of slight differences in between the two cameras. So we're trying to trim it with a little bit of weight. go in front. So here's me trying it out on the Segway. It's tricky. Now these, the other thing is that the lens height gets higher when I step on here. So what I end up doing a lot is going low mode. So with low mode, I don't have that problem. Mm -hmm. And I can just raise up this post to get a, a, an eye height. Mm -hmm. you know? And it's actually my preferred way of, on the Segway is, is for the rig to be in this configuration. So. The tires are a little low, they're making noise. So what ends up happening is you end up driving it with the rig. So you just push the rig forward and then pull it back to stop. And I just use my body to, it's like the extra, like the brake boost. Because this, pulling it back will, in it, like it, it initiates the movement. But if I really want to brake, I gotta use my body. And when we get terrain involved, you know, I really have to turn and balance the, But yeah, with this you can do a lot of adjustment. I mean, I can raise this up so that the lens height is over here. So you can get some really cool, really cool shots. So we taped a few washers and uh, trimmed the camera weights just by a few ounces, and you can see here now we got a perfect balance while the cameras are moving. So uh, you know, I found a workaround to to make it work perfectly. And so here you see the rig uh, mounted on a door mount uh, for an action sequence with an audio, on an auto commercial. And uh, so it's a great rig. You know, you can, um, it's small size. You can put it inside a car. You can mount it around the car and um, obviously handheld and on the Steadicam. And there's just so much you can do with it. It's, uh, I, can really, I really can't wait to use it. So here's a quick picture of it in handheld configuration. Um, and what you're seeing there also is this little yoke that they have uh, made out of carbon fiber. And that's what the uh, those handheld arms attach to. 
Now, there's a lot of things you can use that yoke for, and you can put that on the rig, which I didn't have on uh, on the video, but you can see here, you can use it as a tilt stage, essentially. Uh, for those of you familiar with the Tiffin Steady Cams, they have a tilt stage. But, so if you're doing, you know, ultra low mode and you need the camera to look up a little bit, you can, you can use that yoke to put some tilt into it so it's looking up without having to tilt the post. It's actually a pretty ingenious little setup. And, you know, using the same carbon fiber yoke there, you can uh, you could do a couple more you know configurations which are pretty cool you can see here there's a traditional you know so you can go from the tripod onto it and you can see how much you can tilt it up and down without having to tilt the head which you know in some circumstances can be quite helpful it's almost like having a tilt plate so 52 pounds was the total shooting weight as you see here in this picture that's my decimator that's focus motors that's ultra LDS ultra primes, which are heavier than regular uh, ultra primes. But uh, you know, you put super speeds on there, you can even easily drop a couple more pounds. Uh, obviously, the Cayman that you see there has the ports for focus and zoom, so you, know, you could add those on there as well. But you know, in the interest of keeping it as light as possible, I only ran focus. But uh, you know, this is easily the best rig I've ever had on my Steadicam. So there's lots of little things that, uh, you know, in person I could explain to you, you know, the aspects of this rig that let you run it in overslung mode, uh, which other rigs, when you put it in overslung mode, they just get too heavy. So, I mean, definitely there's lots of benefits to doing that. As you can see, you know, you can spin the rig 360. You can, most importantly, you can put the weight right over your gimbal, uh, right over the post rather. And, uh, you know, so it lets you not have to put any weight you know, in the rear of the rig to counteract the front heaviness. Yeah, so these were epics. Obviously, Scarlet's would work as well. And I'm testing the rig in a few weeks with Alexa M's for an upcoming feature. But, uh, you know, it's 5K 3D in a 50-pound, you know, sled weight package. So, I mean, easily the best so far. And, uh, you know, I'm really excited to work with it. So the rig's available here in LA at Camadeus. Um, but if you have any questions, feel free to contact me, and I can and we can talk more about rates on the rig and on my services, and talk about your project and what would work best for it. That pretty much wraps us up today. I'd like to thank Sebastian at Camadeus for inviting us over. And if you have any further questions of any kind, uh, email me through my website at pgfilms.tv, and also make sure to check out my blog at steady3d.com. All right, thanks. Thanks a lot.